Okay guys, in this video we're going to talk about fonts and making text and changing it and all the things that you can do. You're probably going to use this a lot if you're trying to do pop culture, maybe sayings or kind of hopping on some trending uh, phrases or hashtags. You're going to be using a lot of text and you want the text to look good. So I'm going to show you how to create the text, manipulate the text, change the color, do a lot of cool things. So first thing we're going to start off with is I want a 3600 by 3600, 300 pixels per inch. That's gonna give us a 12 by 12 image. And you saw in one of the earlier videos, that's kind of a best practice, unless you really have a reason to fill up the entire 15 by 18 inches. Now we're gonna stretch this out after, not really stretch, we're gonna change the canvas size. Uh, but I wanna know what I'm working with. I want that 12 by 12 square to work with. And that's what we have here. So to add text, you're gonna come over here to the side. You see here on the left-hand side, there's text and you can do horizontal. You can do vertical if you've got a reason to. Uh, but for this, I really, I can't remember at the time using vertical. We're just gonna use horizontal. Now you can just click once and it's gonna start typing for you. I like to make this box. So I, I spread it out a little bit uh, and then I start typing. So let's just type hello. Let's spell it right. And you see that the letters are too big. It won't even fit in the uh, the box. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit and then I can bring it back. Now my font is going to be super, super big. And you see up here is where it's telling me what I'm using. This is the font that I'm using and I can change it regular or bold or italic and different fonts are going to have different options in here so you're going to have to experiment play around with it a little bit this is the size so right now this is 300 and this is manual uh, you can change this to anything you want so let's make it a little smaller 200 and this is going to sharp crisp I, I really don't use this that much you certainly could see how it changes uh, the font what it looks like it's going to affect different fonts in different ways now I like to make this kind of big if I'm going to manipulate it you can certainly make it small and then still manipulate it but this is the text box right uh, compared to the uh, the layer box okay so we've got the layer here now if we just can play with the layer if I command T or image transform you see it's this whole thing it's all this white space over here now as I manipulate this box I got to manipulate the whole thing if I want to change the font size uh, maybe we want to stretch it out uh, directly instead of using the, uh, the font size that you saw up here. So what I would rather do is once you have the text that you want, start making this box a lot smaller. Now you want to leave it a little bigger because different fonts are going to have different sizes. So if I change the font, it may not fit in the box anymore. Uh, but you don't want to use these giant boxes like this. And it's just going to kind of get in the way, especially if you try to add text somewhere else on the screen. So we're gonna make this a little smaller and let's change the font. Okay, so first we're gonna change the font, then we're gonna change the color and I'll show you some other things as well. So I can double click this to highlight it all uh, or you could do Command A, Control A to select all. And you can come up here and just pick. Now they give you a little sample over here. It's kind of really hard to see. I mean, I think it's kind of small. I wish they make this a little bigger, but maybe like this one, Noteworthy Light. You can see how that changes what the font looks like. Uh, now you have to go through and do this one by one by one, but there's a little trick that I use. If you just click on this once, and now I can arrow up and down, and I can go through all of them one by one. So what I usually do is I go through kind of quick, uh, trying to see if something catches my eye. There are so many fonts in here. Um, and to me, you want simple, right? You want something that just says what it says, uh, without getting too complicated. Um, I mean, they've got some cool, I mean, you're going to use different ones for, I mean, this you might use if you're making like some kind of, you know, college themed shirts. Uh, so play around with it. Um, one that I do use a lot is uh, Arial Bold. Let's see if I can find it in here. Uh, or Arial Black. Actually, they have Arial Black in here. Arial Black Regular. It's just simple. It's uh, nice and crisp and clear. It's big. It really stands out. It's nice and basic. It doesn't have a lot of the extra little things that go along with it. So I do like using this one. Uh, now we can change this around a little bit different than the font size. Okay, so if I do Command T, this is Transform. You can also find this in Image. Or I'm sorry, in uh, Edit. You can Transform. 
And now I can just stretch this out any way that I want. I can make it small, I can make it thin. Maybe I want to fill up a certain part of the image. Maybe I want to make sure that it's nice and centered. And you see how Photoshop CC automatically centers. It gives me that nice little uh, purple line in the middle and let me know that I'm in the middle. So you definitely use that to center your images. Um, now if I hold down Shift and stretch from the corner, it's going to keep the same aspect ratio. You see how it's not squishing? Uh, so use that trick as well. If I don't have shift down, I can do anything that I want. Okay, so keep that in mind. And let's center this again. Now let's change the color. So we're going to highlight this again. Remember, I'm still on my text tool over here. Um, and I can change the color. This here is the color that it is now. It's black. I can click on that. And I can come over here and I can pick a color. I can pick red or green, uh, any color. Now if I had another image on here that I wanted to match, it gives me this dropper tool. So I can come over here and if I want to match a red color that was already on the image, I could click that red like this and it would match that red uh, exactly. Uh, so use that little trick as well. So I find a color that I like and I want it to be in blue. And I say, okay, now it's not green, it's just highlighted. It's still here in blue. Uh, now the next trick I want to show you is something called stroke. Uh, now if I come over here and double click on this layer, it gives me all these options. And over here is stroke. So I can click on this and I can choose a color. So right now it's on black. It's one pixel and it's on the inside. Now I usually use, well, it depends. Let's use the outside for this one. And you can't really see it because it's only one pixel. But as I slide this over, you see it's putting a nice outline on the, uh, on the letters here. Now, I can do, I can change it to inside, see what it looks like. And this is kind of why I don't like using inside sometimes. See how it curves on the inside and you're not really going to get that on the outside. Um, I mean, I don't mind the curve on the outside of a letter versus on the inside. But if you go too big, you see, you can see what happens. And maybe that's an effect that you, uh, that you want. Um, so what I usually try to do is just make it, just make it look good. Right, make it look like if like a sign or like a shirt. Uh, just kind of play with it a little bit. Uh, often less is more. Uh, when you find something you like, you know that's when you're uh, you're gonna save it like that. Now think ahead. If you're making a shirt that's gonna be on light and dark colors, maybe you want to use a very light colored text with a black outline. That way you can put that on both colors, and the light color will really pop on the dark. And even on a on a, a dark dark colored shirt, you'll see the light uh, words. But on the uh, the light colored shirts, you'll more likely see the dark and the black outline uh, along the back. Uh, so you can do this as much as you want, and you can add more stuff. So maybe you're gonna have one big. Well, see, here's the problem with having the big thing. Uh, it's trying to take over. So I can make another text box down here, and I can manipulate that one as well. Uh, so you can have more than one text box. And you see over here now I have more than one layer. Uh, so anything that I put in here now, it's going to be way too big. It's going to be 200. So if we bring it back down, uh, you see I can have text box down here that I can manipulate. And there's lots of cool things you can do. And I'm not even really good at Photoshop, guys. Uh, but let's go to this. There's one more trick I can show you. Something real easy for you guys to play around with, especially if you're making text shirts. Uh, or shirts with words, is you can create warped text. And this is the real easy one, is the arc. Because uh, you can just arc it up or down. So maybe you want to put some text around an image. So maybe you're going to arc it uh, up above the image and arc it below uh, the image. And you don't have to go very much to kind of get a little bit of a, just a little extra touch on it. Uh, and the longer the word is, you know, I think it's going to have a better curve to it. Uh, but you can do all kinds of stuff in here. I, I really haven't played with all of them. Uh, you know, some of them look better than others. Some look like you're just trying way too hard. Um, depending how far you go with it. Uh, but you get the idea. There's a lot you can do just by playing around. You don't have to know a lot about Photoshop to do this. And uh, then once you get it where you want it to be, if you're working in a 3600 by 3600, I think I showed you guys this in the other video, I'm gonna come up here to the canvas size. I'm gonna change that to 15 by 18. This is gonna be where the image 
uh, is relative, so you can start in the corner. Then we just want to stretch it out. So we're actually going to actually probably just leave it in the top middle. And you see, I'll have to start zooming out a little bit. Now I have the right size image. So make sure you do that because if you don't try to upload that 3600 by 3600, Merch by Amazon is going to kick it back to you. So I hope this uh, kind of gives you some ideas of how you can play around with text, changing the colors, putting the outline. Uh, you can even curve it. There's a lot of things that you can do. Uh, so have fun with it. I hope you can uh, make some great shirts.